CBS's Chip Reed just couldn't understand why Americans don't see how great the stimulus package is. Even many independent economists put the number of jobs saved or created at about 1.8 million. But to the great frustration of the White House, most Americans simply refuse to believe it. In a recent CBS News New York Times poll, a mere 6% said the stimulus has created jobs. 41% said it will create jobs. 48% said it will never create jobs. And to the great frustration of CBS News, most Americans refuse to watch their pro-Obama press releases disguised as newscasts. Many independent economists put the number of jobs saved or created at about 1.8 million. Sadly, very few of them are Democratic congressmen. Oh, who could refuse to believe something from the network that brought us Dan Rather? ABC's John Hendren assured viewers that Democrats shouldn't lose too many seats this November. In politics, the nine months between now and November can amount to a lifetime. But for now, despite all the passionate anti-incumbent Tea Parties, the math suggests limited changes on Capitol Hill. A tempest in a teapot. Actually, I think John Hendren had to do about 20 takes of that ending because he kept laughing at his producer. And when that guy shouted that the Titanic was about to hit an iceberg, he was just making a mountain out of a molehill. I said Tempest in a teapot. <laughs> Tempest in a teapot? Come November, they may end up feeling like a motion sickness prone person on those trolling teacups at Disney World. While interviewing Ann Coulter, FNC's Geraldo Rivera suggested Dick Cheney was aiding terrorists by calling for tougher action against terrorism. Facts but Cheney don't got wrong. you think when the former vice president says America is weaker than it has been mm -hmm. that you are giving aid and comfort to the enemy that you are encouraging <laughs> another attack? Geraldo added, I have reason to believe that this is the same Dick Cheney that helped steal the gold out of Al Capone's vault. Geraldo's accusing someone else of giving aid and comfort to the enemy? This is the guy who got kicked out of Iraq for, in 2003 for like drawing their troop locations in the sand. Now this is where the 3rd Infantry Division is basically fighting. But they are fighting with some difficulty. Why? Because they don't have all the supplies they need and because their line of communication, the line of supply, is being harassed. Now we have dug another road through the western Iraqi desert and this basically is where the United States forces up here are being supplied. Got a little laugh in the room because nothing shows you care like waterboarding. MSNBC host Chuck Todd looked past his own network's shoddy journalistic standards and instead focused on bashing Fox News. The mainstream media hates uh, the, the Tea Party movement almost as much as it hates Sarah Palin. Listen, when a news executive goes out there and states a crazy accusation like that, uh, that it, it ends up, you know, it, it only ends up probably hurting what they're trying to do, but it, it, it creates it, you know, it only, it only denigrates all of us. And you know they do hate Sarah Palin. I mean, they make fun of her for putting words on her hands, or as I call it, the Alaska teleprompter. Darn that Fox News. Their only agenda is to undermine the 90% of journalists who are trying to suck up to Obama. Simply trying to cover stories out there, huh, Chuck? You mean like your colleague John Harwood last year when he praised how Obama was like a ninja when he swatted that fly? This actually proves that Palin is smarter than Obama. It says that she needs fewer words, Hers uses less energy, and of course she can give a speech more than five feet from an outlet. ABC's Good Morning America delivered a touching valentine to Vice President Joe Biden and his wife. Now they don't often talk about it, but their decades-long marriage is a famous Washington love story, and Juju, they are clearly best friends. They really are, and you know, we all know that there's been a lot of cynicism about political marriages, right? But the Bidens have a genuine love and respect for each other that's easy to see. And the center of it is a very sweet love story. Liberal journalists like generic Democratic love stories better than Kennedy love stories. I'm just glad we'll never hear the expression Ted Kennedy's seat ever again. <laughs> well, yeah, the camera hasn't, like, looked me over yet. Okay, I'm going to be the goofball this time. You couldn't bring me a woman? Eh, eh, timely. It's a little pithier. I suppose I could look behind me. This isn't going to be like Colin Mockery where there's like a large alligator. <laughs> <laughs> uh, crap, I just did it, didn't I? <laughs>